Welcome back Elden Ring fans to another video. In today's video we have another build. I went ahead and made a Vlad Dracula Tepesh build. Um, Vlad Dracula being from the Castlevania series in the Netflix adaptation or the anime if most people have found it that way. Um, this was a very fun build to do. It's very interesting, you know. I actually was uh, influenced by another YouTuber who had made a really interesting build. He actually made an Alucard build. I believe his name was Iced Estes. Um, and he made his build around the idea of what Alucard was, you know, him being a vampire, but also his abilities, the, you know, the big abilities that most video games can't portray. But Elden Ring has an openness to allow him to portray him enough. Um, just kind of like how I did my Dracula build. Um, he, I don't know if he went with just the video game version um, for Symphony of the Night, which is my personal favorite Castlevania game ever. Um, but I think he was leaning more towards the Netflix adaptation because he used the sword spinning weapon art to allow him to spin his sword around kind of like how he does in the anime, which was absolutely cool. Great idea. If you guys have never seen any of his stuff, go watch Iced Estus. Um, he has a few short films and stuff like that. His, his videos are pretty short, but he did give me the inspiration for this. Um, not personally, but just from watching what he did. Um, so this build for Dracula is a build that also has a bit of characteristic behind it. You know, I, it's a, it's supposed to be a Dracula who, um, is still from the anime, but he's been reincarnated and doesn't understand where he is. You know, he is missing his castle. You know, Castlevania's gone. Well, Castlevania's not technically gone in here, but it's in a different location. That's a lore thing for it. So there is some lore behind this. I like adding a little bit of story. You guys know that. Um, but uh, this this build was fun to make. Um, you know, I added a couple of nifty things here and there. You know, Bloodhound Step to make him be able to dodge the attacks, lightning fast. None of the... Uh, None of the bell mods are going to be able to get him, uh, their hands on him with any type of whip. Um, I gave him the ability to summon the undead only from foes of which I am actually currently fighting. Um, I have to have killed some foes, which I did um, off screen, but right now we're, I'm just using it as a template. Um, so it is kind of an interesting thing because that's how he works. Um, as an enemy to humanity, he actually uses the dead corpses of certain people's comrades to fight against each other. Um, which is a very barbaric, hard, broken thing to do. Because Vlad Dracula is actually more of a tragedy. At least from the anime's perspective of him. From other stories, sometimes not. Sometimes they are. But he's very much a tragic person. You know, he's not a, he's not a human being, but he is a man. At least at one point in time, he did have humanity inside him. But he lost that. So with this character, I wanted that bit of lost humanity. You know, we have... We have our, our, not exactly a bleed build, but a regeneration build um, based off of how many enemies I kill. You can do a bleed build, you know, that's all open to you guys. But with this personal build for me, how I wanted it to be, I wanted it to be an absorption build, kind of like um, taking back uh, vitality from these enemies that I'm killing. And as we're making our way up towards Castle Havania, um, we're able to see that I have a few things that typically you wouldn't see as you would think on a Dracula build, you know, like, um, life steals one of them, you know, you'd, you'd typically see that, but the madness spells, why would I add madness spells? Well, he's mad. Like he's literally insane, especially in the animation. He loses his will to, to allow humans to live on the earth with him. He loses his mind. And, you know, we have a couple other magical things. You know, this door, which is supposed to be Castlevania's main gate, isn't going to hold him back. You know, he's the master of the castle originally. Why would it hold him back? So he's able to just phase through it and stuff. But when it comes to having the big magic to it, um, this area, you know, his build with the madness is him losing his mind and enforcing his will on others. I thought that was a great idea for the, the madness grab. I can't remember what it's called, but um, I thought it'd be a great idea to use that because it shows just how broken he is, how, how insane his mind has become that he can influence others, which is exactly what he does in the show. And I just thought that that was a perfect thing to use because it is exactly what happens. People get influenced by him and then they die horrible tragic deaths or their path leads to destruction not maybe up for themselves but for others around them it's just it was a great build and ray lucaria is our castlevania in this in this game 
Um, there are multiple areas of which I use for Castlevania for this video, um, which you can do that too, of course. But Ray Lucaria stuck out to me the most. Um, I was thinking more of, you know, Volcano Manor, but Cast just this whole academy um, breathes life of Castlevania in it. There's contraptions, monsters that are not made just by you know, demon hands alone, you know, obviously they have some in intelligence behind them because he was a bit of a scientist. At least in the animation adaptation, he had scientific knowledge beyond mankind at the time. You know, that's why he, that's how he met his wife. So here are some of his underlings, you know, some of, some of his demons, his personal guard for the castle, and they're trying to destroy him. And he's, questioning why you know he's trying to figure out how this happened like why is this happening if anybody they should be regretfully attacking it's him um as their personal master but they've claimed a new master and we're gonna see exactly maybe not who that is but you know we're gonna lean into the idea of where and why he's here um why i would stick and invade in this area like i said there's that water wheel that's a futuristic kind of technology that you wouldn't typically see in a Elden Day, um, you know, world. Uh, it's just not something huge that a lot of people would, would technically see. And he's more advanced. You know, he's got magics that people don't understand. Sciences people don't understand. Monsters that people do not typically see around the world. And this is a cult-ish monster. And I thought it would be perfect. You know, it's just this Ray Lucaria area breathes life to a Castlevania-esque monstrosity. Like, it's it's a perfect place to invade and host as a Castlevania character. If you wanted to have Belmonts here with you, you know, a couple friends running in with some whips and stuff like that, it would be perfect. You can make Richter Belmont. I'm pretty sure, actually, um, that Iced Estes, you know, the YouTuber that I keep bringing up, he's a small-time YouTuber just like me, but I'm giving him a shout-out, and he doesn't know that, but... You know, it's it's just cool. He has a Simon Belmont. I'm pretty sure. I'm almost 100% sure he has a Simon Belmont build. And it's cool as hell to have that idea. You know, if you're passionate about something, go do it. You know, I'm passionate about this game. So I make a whole bunch of shit. I make a whole bunch of YouTubers and people I love and, and just fun stuff. You know, things that other people like. This, Castlevania is my, my fucking, one of my G games. It's one of the best I've ever played. It's It's one of my favorite games of all time. Um, and if you've never played Castlevania, please go, go get that experience. Um, I definitely recommend Symphony of the Night. If you have never played that game, that is one of the all time best games of like the PlayStation category. That is one of the most perfect games. They have a 360 copy you can buy on the store, um, for 360. I don't know if it's on the Xbox one anymore or even Xbox series X, but if you could get your hands on it, please do. It, it's such a good game. It takes some time. It's a little bit a soulsy game for an old time, uh, old time veteran. You know, you would you would enjoy that game if you like Souls games. Um, but here we are fighting an imposter uh, Belmont. You know, maybe maybe it's a student for the Belmonts. Maybe it's just an adventurer coming in here trying to figure out why Castlevania's, you know, up and running because. When Castlevania is not destroying things and it has no master, it's typically quiet. You know, it's very, very quiet. Um, we have, like, some other th places to go to. So, Volcano Manor. I thought this was a beautiful place because, you know, it's not always hectic in his castle. It, uh, it may not have him up there, but maybe that's part of what's going on. You know, there's, there's not people in the castle. You know, it's very empty. You know, where's his war council? He has multiple vampires that are helping him destroy the world and rid humanity of this place. Where's Isaac? Where's all those characters? And as he stares at the empty round table of the war council, he begins to realize this world may not be the same as his own. So maybe that's what's going on. Maybe he goes into actually the world of Elden Ring. Maybe this is what's going on. You know, he, maybe he meets somebody and they direct him somewhere else. And this is one of my other places, the last place that we're going to go into of why I love this place. This is perfect for his build. And it may not make sense to you right now if you haven't watched the anime, but spoiler alert, in five, four, three, two, one. I used this place specifically for this shack. This shack reminds me of Vlad Dracula Tepesh's home. Um, in the beginning of the animation, you will learn about his life. Um, 
he loses his home and more importantly his wife his his dearly beloved to a group of human beings led to believe that she's a witch that what she's practicing in science is crazy and that she's not trying to help humanity but burn it down with satan and dracula loses his shit this is what happens. So coming here, we also fight what I believe to, you know, imagine to be a Belmont. A Belmont has tracked him down and told him to meet him at the place where it all began. To finally have that final duel. To put darkness in its place. Now, as you know, we're Dracula. That's not happening. Also, we have like 14 Estes. That's awesome not happening. <laughs> so I get pretty close, you know, I'm... I'm doing pretty bad. I'm not exactly all powerful with this build, not me personally, but I do get a really cool combo in here. Um, I get the life steal combo. I'm pretty sure into a uh, into a certain other move. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I get the life combo um, into the madness grab, which just proves the point of flushing your madness into someone and causing them to become corrupted and maybe even lose their life. So. I had a lot of fun with this build. As you can see, um, it's just, it's a gnarly build, but it has meaning behind it. You know, the character can be betrayed in this world openly. That's what I want to do with this channel, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I had a lot of fun making this build. If you guys have any more builds you guys want to see, comment down below, subscribe, and have a great day.